Hey guys, how's it going? Today we're going to be pulling Remnant Shards, Prism Shards, and Chosen is leaving. Chosen is leaving the raid community. I just wanted to say bye to Chofly Mobile, Chofly Elite. You know, he's changed his names, uh, changed his name a, a few times here. But back in 2019 of July, when I first started playing raid, I was pretty much only watching chosen for quite some time he was the only one in a in a scarce content creation or lack thereof um sense on on youtube he was the only one and then eventually like deadwood jedi and and darth and stew gaming uh hell hades hell hades before he was even showing his face uh those were the the guys that were you know pumping out content nowadays you can easily look it up on youtube and there's like a hundred of us it's oversaturated, and I think, you know, this kind of makes sense because he has sort of run his course. You know, the argument could be, I mean, we've been talking about it for a while. Raid is sort of heading in that direction. I mean, a lot of people are just straight up, like, leaving um, Raid, moving on to bigger and better things. And that's the same same thing going on here with, with, um, with Chosen. You know, he's moving on to bigger and better things. He's going to be doing some things with... Fateless, I'm excited for that game. When that game comes out, I intend to check it out. Maybe even cover it. Who knows? But I just want to say uh, thank you. I, I don't think he's going to see this video. But in the off chance that he does, I appreciate everything that you've uh, given the community. Being integral in my growth within my game uh, in some way. Some sort of inspiration because like, it took me five years to, to start doing uh, content creation. But like... People like you and and uh, HWZ really got me into doing content. Of course, I came on the tail end. I, I should have started a long time ago, but, you know, it, it is what it is. Uh, he was the only one doing daily uploads for a game that nobody was doing content on. So me playing Raid for pretty much five years straight, every single day I was watching Chosen, uh, pretty much every single day for five years straight. I don't know, it's just a little, it's going to be a little bit weird moving forward knowing that like a lot of um, the people who were big in raid are starting to make their way out but you can also kind of kind of see it what does it spell for the rest of the community when is hell hades gonna leave when is like deadwood gonna leave when is um ash going to leave but i mean i think ash is being smart about it because he's got like multiple youtube channels so he could easily pivot and do other things but all the original content creators for raid are uh leaving yeah, so, I mean, it's pretty much that whole spiel. Uh, spiel. Spiel's a Pokemon. Um, spiel. So, again, thanks, Chosen. Uh, one more thing. I, like, my brother and I used to watch Chosen. Like, our cha the champion guys. His champion guys, like Skullcrown, Bellower, uh, Spirit Host. I used to leave uh, college, go over to my brother's house, and we would just, like, crack beers and, and just watch Chosen's content. It was, it was fun. So, some core memories. And, yeah. Some great times. Thank you. Hope you do well. And um, yeah. So let's go ahead. Uh, obviously, I'm going to link this down below. So go ahead and watch the video. Give it a like. Say your farewells. All right, guys. I've got some, got some uh, stuff to pull. On this account, we're going to be pulling one remnant. And let's hope we get a mythical. The mythical chance is a 2.5%. Not really sure, but, you know, maybe we might get lucky. I'm pretty sure... Yeah, right here. After so if you guys didn't know this, there is a mercy system for these remnant stones, right? So after summoning 24 times without receiving a mythic champion, the mercy system will activate. And every subsequent, meaning every summon that follows thereafter without getting a mythic champion will increase the chance of getting one by 1%. It takes a while to get these remnant summon summons, but, you know... Uh, 2.5% chance, who knows? You never know. I never know. Let's let's hope we get it. Here it is. And uh, epic. A mausoleum mage. There you go. And we're going to go ahead and pull our remnant on this one as well. And we got, I think, two prism shards. And, of course, another epic. More epic chickens. Let's go ahead and pull these summoning, or what do you call it, prism shards? Where's the... Aren't Prism sure? Oh, here it is. Okay. Well, who's this? Falmond Mornsword. He's got that banner on him. 
what does he do? Uh, attacks one enemy, heals this champion by 50% um, of the damage inflicted. Oh, wow, that's a pretty big heal. 50% of damage inflicted, attack-based champion. If there's any surplus heal, places a shield buff on this champion for two turns equal to the surplus heal. Will attack using Burning Courage skill instead of the target is from the Corrupted Alliance. Attack using the Burning Courage? Oh, this one. Attacks one enemy before attacking removes all buffs from the target. Increases by 20% for each buff removed. Before attacking... Okay, so if you have the Unity Champions, you can steal all buffs from the target instead. Instead of just removing it, you can steal it. Can't be resisted. An extra 20%. Damage inflicted by the skill increases by 20 for each turn taken by an ally or enemy before the champion's next turn. That's pretty huge. Resets at the end of the champion's turn. Will attack all remaining enemies, just like Baron does, with any surplus damage if the initial target is killed. This attack... Uh, it can't be critical. If the target survives, places a guaranteed true fear on all enemies. That's insane. That's pretty good. Especially if you're attacking with your A1... And if they're from the Corrupted Alliance, they attack with this instead. AoE for the A2 in Lumaya's name. Damage inflicted by this skill increases by 5% for each buff and debuff on the target. Will ignore 25% defense of targets that have no buffs. So anybody who doesn't have a buff, you're going to be doing more damage. Um, either way, you're doing more damage, right? Damage in for each buff. Yeah, okay. So there's that's... He sounds like he's going to smack hard. 600 base attack. 95 speed is pretty slow. Decreases the damage taken by this champion by 10% for each turn taken by an ally or an enemy before the champion's next turn. Is this like in addition to this right here? Okay, so the faction stuff fills allies' turn meter by 2%. The allies' turn meters by 2% whenever they place a buff or debuff. Places revive on death. Um, uh, death not death places revive on death buff for one turn on an ally whenever their health drops below 50 all allies are immune to cooldown increasing effects so that would be pretty sick especially this right here when you can get a full team of uh, sacred orders sacred order champions you're immune to cooldown increases so people like yumiko or warlord have no effect increases ally attack in all battles by 30 percent Increases crit rate only on Sacred Order champions. Uh, who's in the Sacred Order that you would... Like, this could make sense. Cupidus. I've never used this guy. Martyr. Yeah. Yeah. Definitely Cupidus. I can see Deacon playing playing a role here. Isn't... Who's in the Sacred Order? Let's see. Errol. Errol is smacking hard. Oh, we got Cardiel for sure. Cupidus and Constantine actually hits pretty hard. He's a fun champion. I don't have him on my account, but I remember on my alt account that I had uh, that I gave away. It was pretty fun. So yeah, there's some... Uh, oh, Siegfried. If you... Oh, dude. Imagine pairing Falman with Siegfried. Dude. Okay, so let's go ahead and just pull this, and I would be happy to get Falman. So let's just see. Of course, we get a strong Deacon... Deacon Strong Chicken. Come on. Give me a Lego. I've never pulled a Legendary from a Prison Shard. Never pulled a Legendary from a Prison Shard. As far as what's going to happen with me and my content, I'm still obviously going to be doing this. Thank you guys for 1,300 subs. I appreciate it. You know, I'm trying to follow in Ash's footsteps in a way by starting a different channel. So, you know, if you guys are interested in horror video games i actually have my channel right here showcased on this channel burrito horror i intend to be kicking that off and what i'm going to be doing is doing a lot of horror game contents and then the odd random variety game here and there so definitely check that out if that's something you're into